Cancer care is not only about working with the patients, it's also about working with the families as well. And this is a family illness. Um, it's an illness that runs in families. Many times when I'm working in the family programme, talking about the family illness, you can see lights going on in the participants' heads um, because they begin to realise that not only did it run in the patient's family, but it also run in theirs. I mean, we do know that people, especially women who are brought up in an addictive home, even though themselves are not addicts and alcoholics, will somehow choose a partner who's addict, an addict and an alcoholic. Addiction and chemical dependence is a very secret illness. It's kept behind closed doors. And in many cases, people are very surprised when what they consider to be a normal, healthy family has a chemical dependent person within it. So it's kept secret. They are also guilt ridden when they come. They are fearful, angry, anxious, helpless, confused. And many, many times when I ask them, what have things been like? I just don't know who I am anymore. So they're lost. They've tried everything. You know, they've lied, they've covered up, they've paid off dealers, they've cried, they've shouted, they've pleaded. They've made idle threats which they never carry out. You know, one thing we know about addiction is that it's best friend's denial. I don't know any other condition that's got as much denial as addiction. Um, so people walk along the addictive path, their addiction gets worse and so does denial. And the families deny it too. Um, so the deeper into the addiction it goes, the attempts to cure and control get bigger, more. Um, so the, at some level the addict and alcoholic has no need to get well. Someone else is going to pick up the pieces. Someone else is going to give them the money. Someone else is going to cover up. Someone else is going to pay the rent. Sisters, cousins, mothers, fathers, friends, um, employers. A lot of employers also dance the dance. You know, they, they cover up. Many families, quite honestly, do not want to come in the family programme. Mm. They're, they're fearful, they're anxious. And they're, they're under an illusion and a delusion that I'm all right, if you just fix them, then things will be okay. I, one of the props I use in the family programme, I've got this huge plastic spider and a web, and that's the analogy I use, the fact is you have been drawn into the web, as you might not know it, but you have. 